Meteorologist Kathy Orr is still tracking an active radar. But first, let's get out to our Chris O'Connell. He's in Chad's for Delaware County. And Chris, you've been reporting on storm damage all night. Yeah, Jason and Sheba, this was a very fast mover today, bringing high winds and heavy rain. The result leaving tens of thousands of people in our viewing area without power tonight. They are in the dark. Right now, we are in the Chad's Ford Glen Mills area. Take a look behind me. We couldn't go anymore. We are at the uh, Hayburn Road where we were stopped in our tracks like many people were. Uh, the, much of the Baltimore Pike area corridor is without power tonight. And as you see right here, many roads shut down. In the Chad's Ford area off of Mountain View Terrace, fire crews are still busy trying to get to a couple who was trapped inside their homes after a tree fell on top of it. They are okay, but... Uh, they're just doing fine. They just could not get to them, but they're still trying to get to them. This is what it looked like on Winding Way in Glen Mills. A family was at home when a giant tree came crashing down, shaved off the rear of their home, crushing a propane tank. Family was able to escape, but we can tell you trees are down. Power is out throughout the area. One guy tells us what it sounded like. Laying in bed and sounded like boulders were coming through the uh, through the windows. I, I tucked and rolled out of bed. I, I was ready to run downstairs. It was terrible. Marshall. Oh, okay. Can we glide? And guys, uh, right now we just came. Uh, Chad's Ford uh, Fire Marshal just came up to us. Uh, sir, your name first of all. <laughs> Phil Wenrick. Uh, Phil, thanks for joining us live. Give us the update right now on what's going on. Um, we have wires and trees down all over the township. Uh, tornado touched down. We have some uh, structural damage to a few homes. Um, I know a roof was ripped off of one and um, telephone poles snapped. It's just the whole township's pretty much. Impacted. What are the next few hours and the overnight in the morning going to be like? Uh, we're hoping to get crews out here to clean all this up, but the problem is it's all through the county and the other counties as well. So the road crews are all limited. So we're waiting on Pico to come out and shut off wires in different areas. And then once that's done, the tree surgeons can come in and start cleaning up the roads. It's a mess. It's a mess. Thank you, sir. I'll let you get back to work. Safe travels. There you see the uh, Chad's Ford Fire Marshal coming out to uh, survey the damage. You see it uh, live, guys. It's uh, just an absolute mess. Tens of thousands still without power. A lot of people uh, stuck on uh, roads just like this tonight, guys. And he's out there walking in the dark like you and your photographer are as well, Chris. Not a settling thing at all no. to go to sleep at night with the power out. Not, not knowing when it's going to come back on, yeah. And we should mention that uh, the tornado has not been confirmed for that area yet. Kathy will have more on that in just a few minutes. Chris, thank you.